Today we're gonna do a 15 minute workout. So it's gonna be super awesome. Let's get after it right away. So let's start warming that body up. So right now, let's just roll those shoulders back and switch out the direction. Arms cross your chest. And switch the other arms on the top. And let's bring it into a little bit of a jog. Getting that heart rate to start elevating. Remember, warm ups are so important because think of a spaghetti noodle. When you try to bend a piece of spaghetti, it's going to break. But when it's all warm, it's all bendable. It's just like your muscles. So we want to warm them up a little bit. Let's get a little bit wider with that jog. Warm those hips up a little bit. Let's bring it back to the middle and then bring it up to high knees. So we really get those knees up. If you're new to working out, you can even just step it and come up to a high knee. Either one is going to work great. Warm those hip flexors up. Let's get up for a couple more seconds. Let's bring it back and do a butt kick. Try to kick that butt with your feet. Arms are coming all the way by those hips. Warming those shoulders up as well. more seconds. Let's bring it into a modified jack. So arms up, leg is coming out nice and wide. Warming those hips up a little bit more. Getting ready for this awesome workout you're going to have. And let's stretch that out a little bit. So we're going to grab that knee, pull it up into our chest. A little dynamic stretching here. So we're going to do three on each side. Really pulling that knee up, giving it a hug. Now we're gonna grab that ankle and pull up with that knee. Do a little bit more hip action. Stretching that out. Feels so good. Ugh, one more each side. Now we're gonna bring it into a quad pull. So grab that leg, pull it back. I always like to reach my arm up nice and high. Get that added little stretch in there. Pull and reach. Grab that leg. Pull and reach. Pull, reach. One more each side. And then now we're going to do a little hammy. A lot of people call these different things. Some people call them grass pickers. Some people call them corn pickers. Scoop, reach up really high. Scoop, reach up really high. Nice deep stretch there. Feeling good. We're going to do those arms again. Cross that chest. And uh, alternating. So whatever arm's on top, you're switching it. Perfect. And then grab that elbow behind your head. Lean. I like to lean to the side and get the stretch coming all the way down. Good. Open it up. Switch. A little lean. Open it up. Switch again. Come on up. All right. So we are ready. So this workout actually is not going to take us very long to do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do 30 seconds of our exercise. And yes, we're gonna do it as quickly and as perfect form as we can. And then we're gonna have a 15 second breather. And then we're gonna do another exercise. So we have five exercises. So we're gonna go all the way through each one. And then we're gonna repeat it and repeat it. So we're gonna do three rounds of that. We're gonna go off of a timer app. So there are a lot of interval timers out there that are free. Two of them that I like to use, one's called seconds, it's free and one is just called interval timer. So we're gonna use interval timer today and it's just gonna buzz at us when we're ready to start and stop. So the first thing we're gonna do is a push up shoulder press. So I'm going to get my timer ready, I'm gonna show you the exercise and then it's gonna beep when we're ready to start. So we're gonna get ready to start this thing. So I'm gonna be down in push up position for this. Be narrow to make it more challenging, wider to make it easier, we're just gonna touch and touch. Here we go. So touch the shoulders. My eyes are in, in front of my hands. They're not back. My hips are not super high. They're nice and low. Make it a little bit more challenging. Feet are together. And we're really going to pick up that speed a little bit. Really using our core. Heart rate's going to come up a little bit more. Loving this. Got five seconds left, you guys. Keep pushing through this. 
All right, now we get our 15 second break. The next one we're gonna do is a squat. Hands are gonna be on our ears for this one, and we're just gonna come back and come up as quick as we can with this squat. All right, so hands on those ears, chest is up tall. Here we go, so down, up. Again, go your own speed, but let's just make this challenging. Knees are not quite over the tips of our toes. My hips are sinking back like I'm sitting in a chair. I would rather have perfect form and a little bit slower than fast and out of control. We don't want that. Quads are gonna start to talk to us a little bit more. Your toes can be straight forward or tipped out a smidge. Either one works. All right, done with that one. Next one's gonna be our hockey jump. So we're gonna start nice and wide and jump and jump. Balancing on each side, all right? Key is to balance, use those arms. Almost right, ready? Let's go. So jump it, jump it. Hold it on each side for a couple seconds, or like about a second, and then flip to the other side. You're gonna feel this one in the side of the hip and in the quad in the front. Love this exercise, one of my favorites. 10 seconds left. Get low, really low with that single leg. Almost there. All right, we're gonna go back down in push-up position. So head is in front of our hands. Now we're gonna jump those legs out and in. So we call this a push-up jack. All right, here we go. So out and in. Eyes are in front of those hands. And let's speed it up a little bit. Let's use that core, use that chest. We're multitasking right now. More bang for our buck. Lots of muscle groups working. Nice and wide. Really get those legs out. Keep breathing. Almost done. Whew. All right, and then the last one with this is gonna be a side lunge, and then we're gonna repeat them all. So we're gonna bend that leg to the side, jump, and bend, jump, bend, jump, bend. So the outside leg is when that's bending. Here we go. Down and down. There we go. Getting low. Feeling it in the groin a little bit through the inside and all as well as the quad and then the hip. Power those arms through. Get up there. Breathing through the motion. Almost done. Four legs straight, one leg bent. All right, let's go back to the very first one, which is the push-up shoulder touch. Again, push-up position. Let's make this one a little harder. Let's feet closer together. Try not to let the hips wobble side to side. If you need to at any point, you can drop on those knees. Here we go. And we're touching. Really deep breaths if you need to. Keep touching that shoulder. Nice and quick, as quick as you can. Speed it up a little bit more. Keep touching, keep touching. Back is nice and flat. You're not making a mountain and your hips are not dropping down low. All right, and then we're gonna go back into our squat. Now if you want a little bit more of a challenge with this, go a little bit deeper, go a little bit faster, or you can even add a little bit of a jump. So when we're coming down, we can go down and come straight up. Okay, here we go. Down up, down up. Again, use those arms, or just have them on those ears. And if you wanna change it up a little bit more too, you can maybe do half jumping, and then go nice and quick, up and down. Heart rate is elevating, we want that. Keep breathing. Big exhales. Five seconds. Almost there. All right, next one's gonna be back into that hockey jump. So we're gonna start off nice and wide. Again, jump it, adding the balance onto the side. Breathe, catch your breath a little bit. Grab a quick drink if you need one too. All right, here we go. Nice and low. You can even make it a little bit faster, but still hold that leg on the side. Swing those arms through. Power is in your arms as well. Whole body workout, you guys. 
Feeling the burn. Keep it wide, keep it wide. Love these. Almost done. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna go back into those push-up jacks again. So, hands are down. Hands, make sure that their your head is in front. Use the core a little bit more, not like this. And then with your jack, those feet in and out. Here we go. Out in. Nice and quick. Keep the body nice and firm, nice and tight. Keep jacking. Keep breathing. You got this. You got this. Keep working hard. Finish it strong. Five seconds. Perfect. Now we're into those side lunges again. So again, outside leg is one that's bending. Getting on nice and low, jumping the middle, and then flipping to the opposite side. Here we go. Down, jump, come down. Jump, come down. One leg is straight, one leg is bent. Outside leg is gonna be the one bending. Inside one is the one that is straight. This is where you're breathing. It's probably up there a little bit because we've been going for just over 11 minutes now, which is good. All right, now one more time through all these five and then you guys are good to go. First one again is give me that push-up shoulder touch. So we're gonna get ready for this. Again, if you want to right now, you can just do a little stretch in the child's pose. Come up with those knees, and let's go. Touch, touching those shoulders. Because we've already made it. More than halfway through. Keep touching, keep touching. Perfect, perfect. Loving it. Keep that body nice and tight. You might be sweating a little bit right now. That's good. All right, back to those squats again. Now you pick, whatever one you pick, just make it challenging for yourself. I'm gonna do a body weight squat as fast as I can without the jump. I'm gonna go really, really quick. Tip my toes out just a little bit, help my hips. Here we go, down up, down up. Deep though, get low. This. Doesn't count. Get those hips down. Come on. You can do this. Just keep saying to yourself, I'm gonna be done in like two minutes. You can do this. Big exhales on the way up. So exhale on the way up. Breathe through the motion. Nice and quick. And then we go back to those hockey jumps. Start out nice and wide. Again, get lower on the end and make sure you hold that balance. Some people, when they're jumping, they try to tap their foot. Try not to do that. Try to hold that foot up in the air. There we go. Swing those arms through. Big swings. Big swings. You guys got this. Big swings. Swing them through. Keep them coming. left. Last set of these ones. Ooh, all right, we got two left, you guys. That's it. Okay, so we're going to go into the push-up jack again. Jacking those legs out in our push-up position. Still bringing those hands down. we got five seconds of resting still. Get ready. Here we go. Jack those feet. Let's get it faster. Out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Eyes are above those hands. Keep going, keep breathing, keep breathing. You guys can do this. Mind over matter. Five, four, three, two, one. The last exercise of the day is give me those side lunges. So we're gonna get ready, starting on that side. Really push those hips down low and back. So get the butt down low, get those hips back. Just like this. Here we go. Down. Down. Keep them coming. You can do this. Down low. Chest is up. 
Breathing through the motion again. Hands coming to the center of the body. Right in front of your face or right at chin level. Get down lower. Go a little faster. Come on. Speed it up. Two and one. Nice cow, you guys. Perfect. So now you're going to have to stretch it out a little bit more. So uh, catch your breath. Grab a drink of water. And then you can slowly stretch in those arms again. Arms over your head. And activity completed. Cross those arms. Cross your chest. A little bit of dynamic knee hugs. Bring it up. Heart rate is coming down. Now, if you need more time, pause the video, catch your breath, and then come back into the stretching. Quad, I'm going to hold this a little bit longer this time. Woo! Balance. Focus on one spot it will help you balance. And then switch to the other leg. Good. So, doing this workout, you can kind of vary it up by making the exercises a little bit more challenging. And then just push yourself. It's super fun to do this because it's so quick. It's fast to get the workout done. And then you're done for the day. Knee down, hip flexor stretch, lean it forward on that leg. So chest is up, holding my body on my knee that's up, just leaning forward. Now for an added stretch, I'm gonna walk that foot out a little bit more. I'm actually gonna come down in front of my leg. Let's get this back so you can see. I'm gonna try to come down on my forearms. This is actually a yoga move but it feels so good in those hips. And then push myself up, switch other leg, hip flexor stretch, leaning it forward. Nice deep stretch in there. Stretching is so important for your body in a lot of different ways. Keeps those muscles and ligaments and tendons nice and loose to help prevent injury. But then also you can use this time for a little reflection, a little meditation. Be proud of what you're doing. You're taking time out for yourself. Have that foot come out wide. Have those hands come down and in front. Down nice and low. So hold that if you can. One side might be looser than the other. That is very common. So that's okay. We just want to try to have both sides to even themselves out. So again, nice quick little workout. Awesome job. Let me know if you have any questions.